Hello and welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. Today's topic is for and while loop in Julia and here is the list of items we are covering in this video. Okay, let's begin with the for loop. We are going to cover two use cases of the for loop. The first one is iterating through an array. You can do that by saying for i in your array println I'm just printing all the elements in this array and you have to end the for loop with and keyword when you execute it it will just iterate through each of these individual elements one by one and at each stage I will contain those elements and it will print it here you can do same thing with a string array and I have this beautiful string array consisting of yummy Indian dishes and at each stage I am printing each of those items uh, I hit alt or enter by mistake so let me type this in again remember you have to put and otherwise you will get this error when you execute it it shows me this output okay the second use case is iterating using a range so let's say i want to print number one to five you can do that by typing in range like this here your starting index is one your index is ending index is one they are separated by a column and i will just print i at every stage when i do that i get this output okay let's talk about while loop now uh, I will print the same output uh, using a while loop now now in case of while loop you need to initialize your variable in advance you can't do it in within a loop like this okay and then comes my while condition that is a while i less than equal to 5 because I want to print number from 1 to 5 print ln uh, i and I have to increment i if you forget to increment this then you will end up in an infinite loop so make sure you don't forget this excellent so it printed what I was expecting it to print all right let's cover continue statement Continuous statement is used when you want to skip the execution of your uh, main loop body for when certain condition is met. For example, I want to print a square of all numbers between 1 to 5 except even numbers. So I want to skip even numbers and for remaining numbers I want to print the square. For that I can do something like this. So I'm using a range iteration here and the first thing I'm going to do is check if the number is even and as you know you can use percentage operator here to find out the remainder after dividing it by 2 and if it is 0 as we all know from our school mathematics class that this number is even if it can be divided by 2 and you have to end if loop with and and I'm going to now print the remaining numbers okay so what it will do is if the number is even it will continue so it will continue means it will not come here it will just continue from this point and it will uh, go into next iteration okay let's execute this excellent so I got the square of 1 3 and 5 and I skipped 2 and 4 because they were even numbers okay uh, let's quickly cover break statement now break statement is used when uh, you want to terminate the execution of your loop when certain condition is met for example you lost your key in a home 
now you have certain locations to find your keys for example garage living room chair closet etc once you find your key at one location you don't go to remaining locations searching for it because your objective is met okay so for that uh, we'll just quickly write a program to demonstrate the same thing and I'll show you how to use break here so for example let's say my key location is chair and my possible locations in my home are all these locations okay so I will say if I is equal to key location I'm searching through my home looking for my key and if I find my key I'm going to say that key found at this particular location okay uh, and I will break okay so from here on I don't want to execute uh, the remaining part otherwise I will say print Alan so first of all you have to end this and I will say print Alan key not found at I meaning I searched through it I didn't find a key here and you have to put one more end to end your for loop here so let's see what happens excellent so here I just forgot to add one space I'll execute it again here it searched through garage it didn't find the key that's why I say not found living room not found but ultimately it found, found the key at chair so it found it and then it breaks so it doesn't go through this last piece which is close it okay that was a quick demonstration of uh, for and while loop thank you for watching